it is it comes as a shock right why i'm saying that the political party called anc taught people that l- listen carefully it taught people that you get charged you step aside it doesn't matter whether or not you are uh look convicted you get charged you step aside it ends there we say okay we understand that now zizu kotwa is said uh, like it has been said that zizu kotwa the one who appeared in pambridge court facing a corrupt look bribe for what is less than two million though as now we're told that uh is going to be returning to parliament is going to be sown I uh, think it's going to be the 25th of uh, Ju- of June he will be sent back there are reasons and I would like to say why I think they want to bring Ozizu Gotwa back to power and I will tell you why I'm saying that in Kazakhstan as well uh, police were caught uh were caught assaulting somebody and police says over look the look police bosses are saying over our dead body are we going to allow that and let me just look at this as well no one is above the law case at and commissioner orders or uh, ordered uh, a prop after cops caught on cctv assaulting tongati man i did not see the video but it was trending as well uh, apparently it was trending i did not see the video Kwazulu Natal South African Police Service SAPS Commissioner Lieutenant General Ntlantlam uh, Kwanazi has ordered a probe into irresponsible and unprofessional conduct by police officers who were caught on close um, a second television CCTV camera assaulting a person during an operation in Olok Utongat. Sorry guys, Pro- provincial KZN and provincial uh, colonel uh case and provincial spokesperson colonel robert netunda said in the video footage said in the video footage a police officer can be seen hitting a man with an open hand uh, in what appear look on what appeared to be an unprovoked act on friday night um i'm going to speak something i'm going to i'm going to say something about this this thing it is it's not a first time it, look it's not a first time uh look uh, 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 an incident of a similar nature happened the other time it happened in the presence of Peggy Taylor and i do remember again it was on friday uh, so it's not a first time something of this nature happened and i remember people in that video they even ask what have we done did we provoke you what have you done why aren't why can't you talk to us go look up politely well that question i like the question to say why don't you talk to us politely maybe we should ask a question why don't you do this if you are not yet subscribed what are you waiting for come on good people because to subscribe it is free to like the video it is free to comment in the comment section below it is free of charge to click the notification bell it is free of charge to share this video it is free of charge to watch this video until the end it is free of charge Also good people I mean come on to watch the ads it's free of charge and that's how you financially contribute to this YouTube channel speaking up for financial contribution to the channel you can join become a member of this YouTube channel from as little as 20 rand a month you can also uh, use the super thanks party in case you don't want to do that guys there is a way where you can use my media company banking details to donate to the channel and you know what i'm saying we will bring you more and also guys want to buy more equipment so the power is in your hands please do the honorable thing as we proceed okay so a little letter on several other police officers uh, um, uh, ganged up on the same victim and uh, attack him right One officer can be seen in a video kicking the man who was already down and stood on top of him. Yar, that must be serious. Yo, that must be serious. He said Mkwana look he said Mkwana has demanded a detailed report on what led to them attacking this man. 
The commissioner has ordered a corrective uh, steps to be taken against the officers who will be found to have acted against the SAPS code of conduct and constitution of the Republic of South Africa. Police officer who took an oath to protect okay, police officers took an oath to protect and serve and uh, and serve as such they must never abuse powers vested upon them says umkwanas uh, communities must feel safe in the presence of police officers not to be fear not to be fearful of every local of a very same officers who are supposed to be uh, their source of refuge police can only retaliate with proportional and minimum force if they are uh, they find themselves under a form of an attack i think i agree with umkwanas here um like honestly speaking i agree with umkwanas on this one uh right now let's get into the issue go ga zizigodwa uh, the story that i read was uh, proudly brought to you by iol and the story that i'm about to read now proudly brought to you by e e, e look e iol as well the move has been uh, frowned upon by political parties civil society and some ordinary citizens God, together with 58 members of Mkonto West party, will be sown in on Tuesday as uh, as part of parliamentary seventh administration. Now, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to say something about this. God is a close rally, uh, is a close ally, ally to Ramaphosa, to Sir Ramaphosa. And, uh, look, and it is still unclear what he will do to, what, he did to find himself on the chopping board while uh, his other comrade, while his other comrades such as Nomvula Makonyane, Kote Mantashi, Melusi Kikaba and others were also fingered in the state capture corruption saga. However, they have not been arrested uh, or formally charged. Earlier this month, Zizigoto appeared before Pambridge, Pambridge Specialized Commercial Crime Court facing charges of uh, facing corruption charges involving 1.7 million, where he was granted a bail of 30,000. He later resigned from his ministerial position. Okay. Uh, hey. You see, you see, <laughs> the government of national confusion. <laughs> it has already started. <laughs> it has already started with its confusion. What is this? What is this? What, what is this? Tell me this. Tell me this. Uh, uh, where is the step aside rule policy then? What happened to that? You get charged, you step aside. Whether you are found guilty or not guilty, but you get charged, you just step aside. What happened to such? I told you. You see, <laughs> the government of national, national confusion, it brings more confusion, I'm telling you. Look at this. So, <laughs> Hey, yeah, they, uh, but 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 let's let's let, let jokes aside. As it as it is shaking, so because I'm thinking about it, I'm like, ah oh, man, didn't you guys tell tell us that this and this and this is going to happen? But what is this? But let's let's leave it. They're already doing it. So one of the things that I'm seeing, Ramaphosa is now setting a bad presidency in that this will then mean you get charged you no longer step aside but remember it's their policy ace mahashul was kicked out using that policy as well now he wants to tend that because there is a high possibility that ramaphosa might be charged a high possibility so they are now making a u10 on the very same policy i suspect it has got nothing to do with zizigoto i suspect it has all to do with Ramaphosa himself, setting a precedence in that 
they will be like, but this God was allowed. Allow me, though I'm charged, but allow me to continue as a president. 